So you've come here trying to work out how to do your crypto taxes for 2023. This might be brand new to you, it might seem a little bit daunting, but together I'm gonna to show you how we can get the data to ensure we do our taxes properly. So here we're gonna be utilizing cointracking.info, a website I've used for the first time this year and have a lot of praise for. It's given me some really detailed reporting, not only for my tax reports, but also going forward to keep my finger on the pulse of my portfolio. I've partnered with these guys here to get you an additional 10% off any plans you may purchase via the link down below. And I really think you're gonna to want to utilize that as these guys provide more depth than any competitor I've found. So as you can see from the details on screen, lots of active users here, CPAs and corporate clients under their belt here. Now there's three subject areas I want to cover in this video. First and foremost, how to import your data from maybe exchanges or decentralized wallets. Then how to utilize the report functionality to get an overview of your portfolio in real time. And then finally, how to generate your tax report for your various jurisdiction. So this company has been about since around 2012. They're based out in Munich, Germany. And you can see these are the various plans on screen here. We go from a free plan, so maybe newbies, less than 200 transactions. I'm not sure many people will fit into this category, but if you do, you can get a report for free. Then we have the Pro, Expert and Unlimited. I guess most of us fall between the Pro and Expert plan. And the more transactions you've conducted throughout the previous financial year, the greater the plan you're required to buy. Now, the great thing is with this, you can import all your data for absolutely free and see everything before you actually make a purchase. They've got you covered with absolutely all the detail you require and some more. So if we just go down here, we'll look at the prices for these various plans. So assuming we're between the pro and expert plan here, you can see you can buy a one-year plan straight out the gates at a cost between $12.99 and $19.99 per month, but this is billed annually. So for example, that pro plan, $12.99 per month, it's a one-off payment of $155 US dollars, less than 10% I can get you utilizing that coupon link down below. But if you're like me and you really like the services and you think you're gonna get along with this one, you may wanna extend this. You can do a two-year plan, get 50% off in the second year, all of which has to be paid up front, however. And if you really like things and you're happy with how they're going, you can do a lifetime option. And this way you have all your portfolio tracking, all your tax reports forever, as long as you're in crypto. And at the prices you can see on screen, this means you pretty much have paid for three years and then any subsequent years are free of charge. So here we are on the main dashboard. We're gonna start off by importing some data, but if we just wanna quickly whiz through this, you can see a huge amount of granularity and visualizations here on the dashboard, which just makes it very useful for keeping up to date with your portfolio in real time. So I do love this. I'm a bit of a data nerd myself. And if you're in that camp as well, I think you will love this for the portfolio tracking elements alone. So what we need to do is go to enter coins for a DEX based wallet. So say you've got MetaMask or maybe you've got your coins on Trust Wallet, for example, and most of your funds are say on Ethereum. What you would do is go down to blockchain imports and find the Ethereum chain, which is just behind my head. But you can see the other alternatives if you're on Polygon, Solana, etc. Just go ahead and click on the name of the blockchain. So now we have the Ethereum wallet address importer, and this is where you just want to enter in your ETH address. Copy and paste from Etherscan, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, whatever you've got, and then paste away in here. Then we have a few options as well. So this is where the granularity starts to kick in. I want to import all the incoming and outgoing transactions. And then for the imports, I want them to count as a deposit. But as you can see from the drop down, say this was a mining based wallet, and this is where you're receiving staking rewards, you will need to appropriately tag that. So if you into your mining, your staking, that kind of stuff. Depending on your jurisdiction, there are different tax requirements. It may well be income tax that it counts as and not capital gain. So here we have great granularity on this, but if it's just your normal trading wallet, click it as deposit, and then you can select how you want the outgoing transactions to be tagged. And for that, I'll just leave it as withdrawal. You can fill in some personalization fields here. Then if you wish, you can also toggle this feature on here. So you'd actually get an email every time you perform a transaction and trade utilizing this wallet. And to do the import, just click the big red button down here, import all ETH transactions and activate the job. And in the top right, you get a notification every time you do a fresh import. Let's just do quickly an API import for Binance. And this will be very similar for importing API keys from any other centralized exchange. So again, we'll go to enter coins 
coins and then exchange import API and then find Binance. What's really good about this is the fact they break it down for you step by step how to do this accurately and ensure that you don't give away too much data. You want this to be read only. You don't want to give them access to actually trade your funds, which is a potentiality with API keys, but they keep you pretty safe in here with all of these instructions. Over on Binance, you can follow along with this. You create a new API key and you simply follow the instructions, copy and paste in all the various data as per the instructions here. And then if we scroll down, this is where you put the key and the secret from Binance. And then you would save this down below. As you can see, you need to have a membership to enable that API interaction. So we've done some imports. Let's have a little look at the reporting functionality here. This is something I really value due to the fact you can see very much granular data on your own portfolio. For example, we're gonna to go to trade statistics here. I'm someone that's utilized spreadsheets for my own investments over a long period of time. But as you can see, these guys have your back. They utilize all your data and then spit out some great data visualization, such as this showing you a pie chart of your holdings in US dollar value, which I think is really neat feature because typically as an investor, you you may have an ideal portfolio construction in mind, maybe like 20% Bitcoin, 50% Ethereum, the rest altcoins. This will show you in real time if you are overweight or underweight certain assets, and then you can easily rebalance and check your rebalancing on screen. Other reports we have up here, things like your realized and unrealized gains. This is also really cool as this helps you to see which bags are maybe underwater, which ones you've got a lot of unrealized gains in, and maybe it's time to actually realize some of those profits. You can see the cost per unit you paid at the time, the current cost, and whether you're up or down on said asset. And then to the far right hand side, we have the unrealized gain or loss and the realized gain or loss. So in terms of reports, this is all stuff that I would try and work out myself previously but as you can see it's just at the tip of your fingertips and there's tons of reports in here so for the data geeks I definitely think it's worth subscribing just for this alone but now let's have a little look at the tax reporting so everyone's favorite bit paying their taxes we're going to go to tax report and then the tax report function here so if you're in the UK like me it's a HMRC capital gains report that you need Maybe if in the US of A, it's the 8949 document for your tax return, but they pretty much have every country covered here. So if you're in other regions of the world, whatever the tax report is for your various jurisdiction, they most likely have your back here. Depending on your tax rules as well, you can actually do different things. So if you can do first in, first out from your portfolio, so say you have a large quantity of a certain asset, this means that you would be selling off your newest asset, typically the one that has the highest cost basis first. But this is definitely something to check with a tax advisor or maybe these guys, they have an awesome team you can get in contact with directly from the website as well. And as you can see, a range of options down here, such as average cost, which I think is applicable to me in the UK. For US users, more granularity here. You can sort out the short-term and long-term capital gains taxes. And this is the type of granularity I haven't seen on other competitors in the crypto tax software space. Now under this column, we have the data, so the tax year that we're actually going for. And there's various options down here, such as the FBAR reports, specifically for IRS purposes here. And once you've got all this complete, just hit the big red button at the bottom. Now, as a bit of a bonus here, if you go to tax report and full service, if you've left your taxes very late in the day here, maybe you really underestimated the amount of detail and time that this might take. It does take days if you're doing this for your first time and you've been a busy trader. Well, these guys do have your back here. They have a full team here ready and waiting to help you with your tax reportings. You can request a full service, select the country that you're in and try and find the level of service that you require in order to get this complete. So depending on how far behind you are, you may need to pay a higher amount, but the initial call here is free of charge. So if you're feeling lost, get this free consultation, go for the full package, speak to a member of the team and they'll let you know what you need to pay for and what data you need to supply for them. So maybe you did your own report reports, but you've got all these warnings popping off. You've got no cost basis for certain assets. We've all been there. Well, it may be sensible to contact these guys and get a helping hand. And to select the service, just toggle the button here, scroll your way down, then submit your personal details, and these guys will get in contact with you. So coin tracking offers some epic services. Not only do you get your own personalized reports in real time for your portfolio, some cracking data visualization, you then also have everything in place to get your tax reports done. And if you need a help in hand, they've got you covered. So this year I was really impressed with the service I got. Hence we're making the video today. Check out the link down below for 10% off. So hopefully you found this very helpful. You'll give these guys a go and maybe you'll be giving them a good review like you can see on screen here. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.